Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to uh, continue on the front deck and we're going to finish that. Um, so we got the, so we bring the camera on here. So we got uh, all, all the polybond, not all of it in, but just some sections in to uh, make sure it's stuck and it's not going to move. Then what we did is when we got here, we took all the blocks off and uh, chiseled all the wood off, uh, not the wood, the, the glue off. And then we used our DBM, which is right here, this stuff. And we cut it to, uh, we cut it to size. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we are going to polybond the whole thing, just the, the edges. And uh, once that's done, we're gonna quickly get our resin ready and our rollers and all that stuff, and we're gonna um, glass our DBM to it um, as quickly as possible. Also doing a very good job. So that's uh, where we're at right now. And uh, so yeah, let's, uh, let's mix up the pipeline. So now we got uh, what was it the poly, not the poly the poly bond on the radiuses of our front piece, front deck, and now we're going to uh, glass in this DBM stuff. So the guy behind the camera, he is going to take this roller, and I'm also going to have one. He's going to wet the back end, this side here. He's going to hand it to me, and I'm going to uh, put it on the radius. Then I'm going to take all the bubbles out of it and uh, stick it where it needs to be and all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, and this is a hard roller. If we have any bubbles, we'll roll all the bubbles out. But this is kind of dirty business, so we're not going to film the whole thing like uh, by hand. It's all going to be time lapse. <laughs> but yeah, let's rock and roll. Let's get to uh, do some glassing. Got it all done. Um, some parts were kind of maddening, some parts were okay, but um, we got her done. Uh, not the prettiest work I've done, but she'll, she'll hold. So these top areas, we have some uh, DBM sticking up. If you uh, catch it in time and don't let it harden, harden like all the way, you can take a knife, you can just chop it right off. And if I were to let that sit for like another two hours, I would have to use a grinder and create a lot of dust and grinding fire glass sucks. So that part you don't want to do. So yeah, I'm just going to go around and chop all the top pieces off. And this year, uh, it might be hard enough, but some spots are still pretty wet. But yeah. But now we're going to go get some food and uh, come back and we're going to start making the floor.
So, what we did off camera, while we were just chilling and getting some stuff done, is uh, these boards, yeah. these boards here, on the, what was the vertical ones, were a little bit too tall, about, I don't know, quarter to an eighth inch. So what we did is we took boards, that are not anywhere here, and with like 80, one had 80, one had 40 grit sandpaper, and we just sanded them, um, not completely flush, we had a little bit of height left left on them. And uh, got all that done, that was kind of a dirty mess, got full of uh, the black fiberglass. But um, now we got our boards on here, we got um, two four by eight sheets of uh, Kusa plywood, it's not wood, it's composite. And uh, what we did to get our, our angle, camera down a little, is we put uh, the boards on top and we put some weights on top to uh, make sure they don't move. And then we, on the outside of the rub rail, we just kind of traced it. And the reason why we did the outside of the um, rub rail is I do not want to cut it short. I'm not exactly sure how to cut it perfect. So we'll cut it this way for now and I'm going to talk to my boss and my co-workers this weekend, this week, about how to do it properly. But right now we're going to take this stuff off and then uh, cut them out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut outside of the line because uh, we want to measure twice, cut once. and. Well, I'm going to cut twice, so I'm going to measure five times a couple twice, but anyhow. Guys? Look at it. This is going to be fun. Oh yeah. There's going to be a few fish killed on this thing, that's for sure. Okay, so now we have a table over there that you guys seen previously. And uh, we're going to take these two pieces, bring them over there, and fiberglass both sides so that uh, they become one piece. So let's grab this here. Okay, so this time what we're going to do is we got our sticks, like uh, when we did the back floor. And we're going to take this one a little bit hotter than we did with the small pieces up front, just because I want this to be hardened or hard, quicker than quick. So, um, like in the next hour or two. Um, what else? I think that's about it. We're gonna get her done and uh, do some little fiddly things and come back and do the other side. So, we'll do. Well guys, the end of another day. As you can see, we brainstormed and we've come up with a cardboard console for me that will probably not last the first rainstorm. But, um, but yeah, I think this is how we're going to make it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see uh, how she, she lasts. But uh, thanks guys for watching. We uh, did quite a bit today. We got the whole front. Um, all glassed in. We got the floor for the front glassed, cut and glassed, and uh, we've come up and brainstormed, and now we have our cut cardboard cutout of our uh, of my console. So another productive day, building a building a boat. So thanks, guys. See you next time.